class. I'm called Mr. Leonard Omondi, a teacher of Dr. Kachin and Biology, Sinaga Girls. Today, we want to learn about uh, uh, feed formulation, feed formulation, and um, uh, specifically, we want to do a Pearson square method, how we can formulate the feed for fish, we can formulate the feed for poultry, we can formulate the feed for cattle and all that. So the procedure uh, that we want to, we want to use is uh, the Pearson square method because we cannot use a graphical method and computer method at this particular level. Just to make a recap of uh, the, uh, the topic, we talked about digestibility and the digestibility is um, uh, the amount of food that is being retained uh, after taking care of losses in form of uh, feces, dung and urine. And uh, we did look at uh, a few factors that uh, determine digestibility and one of them is the chemical composition of the feed. Uh, the chemical composition of feed, uh, we looked at specifically uh, lignin, uh, lignin uh, the feed that is composed of too much lignin, there is always low digestibility within our animals. Uh, and uh, number two, we have uh, uh, feed protein uh, ratio, energy protein ratio. Now the higher the ratio, the lower the digestive system within our animals. Now, just to move to the topic of today, or the subject of today, today we want to learn about the Pearson Square Method and the methods of uh, feed computation. Now, with me, I have uh, a question of the same. Uh, we have a farmer was to prepare 300 kgs of 20% DCP. He had 16% DCP of maize bran. Now, maize bran, maize bran, that is a feed stuff. That is a feed stuff. Now, a feed stuff is a, a type of food that contains one or two uh, nutrients. One or two nutrients. So we have two feed stuffs. The first feed stuff is maize bran. The second feed stuff is simsim, 34% digestible crude protein. Now, this farmer wants to use this particular Pearson square method to calculate this particular feedstuff so that at the end of the day, uh, he or she will get the ratios of each and every feedstuff that he is using in this particular method. Now, because the name Pearson square method, now from the name, we have, we have to draw uh, the square. The first procedure, you draw the square. That is the first procedure. Now the second procedure, you ensure that you draw the diagonals. You draw the diagonals. Then after that, we put what you want to prepare. The farmer is supposed to prepare 20% DCP, digestible crude protein. You put it at the center, 20%. 20%. But on the right side of the square, on the left side of the square, mean, on the left side of the square, we have to put the feed stuffs. And the first feed stuff we have is maize, maize bran, maize bran at 16%. The second feed stuff we have is simsim, simsim at 34%. That is the next procedure. Now, the third procedure, you subtract the diagonal. And when you are subtracting the diagonal, it is 34 minus 20, you get 14 parts of maize bran. 14 parts of maize bran. Now, uh, when we are subtracting 16% minus 20%, we get four parts. We get four parts of CMC. We get four parts of CMC. Now, after that, we add the parts. We add the parts. And I'll say that on the left hand of the square, we have the percentages. 
But on the right hand of the square, we have the parts. They are now parts. And another thing that we have to put into consideration is that if we have the maze brand on the upper part of the square, then we should also have the maze brand on the upper part of the square. So they should not be interchanged. They should not be interchanged. Then let us add the parts. 14 parts of maze brand added to 4 parts of CMC. We shall get a total of what? 18 parts. We get a total of 18 parts. Now, this farmer was supposed to prepare 300 kgs of that particular digestible ingredient. So we shall take 14 parts over the total, which is 18, times 300 kgs. Then we get, shall get the maize bran, uh, the number of kgs of maize bran that this particular farmer should use. Then again, we shall also have 4 pounds over 18 times 300 kgs. Then we shall get, uh, we shall get uh, uh, the number of kgs of this particular, of this particular uh, kgs that the farmer should use. Now, when we work on this, when we work on this, uh, uh, we must always get that is maize bran total, but it is in kgs. Then we shall get sim uh, sim sim also in number of kgs. Now uh, we want to do the calculation of uh, each fixed stuff, and uh, already we've gotten uh, the total parts of the maize bran to be fourteen, and also the total parts of sim uh, sim to be four. Now. For us to get the number of each and fifth star that this particular farm should use, then we take 14 over the total uh, 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 total parts, which is 18 times the number, which is uh, kgs, uh, 300. Then we're supposed to do the calculation. We're supposed to do the calculation. The calculation is 14 divided by 14 divided by 18, 14 divided by 18 times, times, 300 kgs and 300 kgs. Remember, this farmer is supposed to prepare 300 kgs. That is for giving the two feet stack. So the answer is um, 233.33 kgs. Maze brown. Maze brown. So this farmer is supposed to have 233 kgs, or uh, 0.33 of maize brown in order to get the 20%. Now, apart from that, the simsim says that we have four parts of simsim over the total parts, which is 18 times the, uh, the number of pages this particular farmer is supposed to prepare. Therefore, we have four divided by 18, uh, four divided by 18 times, times 300 pages. Then uh, the number of uh, uh, pages that this farmer wants is 666. 0.67 kgs. The farmer requires 66.67 kgs of CMC and also 233.37 kgs maize bran. For, so for you to confirm, if you want to confirm whether you are in the right, uh, you are in the right procedure, then you add the number of kgs. You add, you say 233.33 kgs. You add it to 66.67 kgs, and this addition should give you the total number of kgs this particular farmer should use, and that is zero. When we add it is zero, we have zero, we carry one. One plus three is four, four plus six, ten, we carry one. One plus three is four, four plus six is ten, one, we carry one. 1 plus 3 uh, plus 2 is 3. So we realize that that is, uh, uh, that is um, the total number of kgs that particular farmer required to use. So this number of kgs of each fish types are correct. Each uh, kgs of this particular fish types are correct. So this farmer should use this number of kgs and this one of the ridges uh, of sim -sim. when you mix them, we shall come up with the 300 ridges and then we can now feed our animals, we can now feed our uh, 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 poultry, uh, poultry, cattle, pigs and all that. So 
while at home, we advise you uh, to use this particular method so, uh, so, as, uh, so that you are able to uh, feed your animals or livestock without, without any problem. So, without much ado, I want to say thank you so much.